Morning everyone. Oliver Joyce here from Whiskey Barrel Studios. Cheers all. In the video. No. <laughs> Actually, this video is for those people who are wondering why there's a whole bunch of new audio tracks that are going up on my channel. And the reason for this is over the years many people have asked me about the music from Sword and Sandals and where they can get a hold of it. Uh, it's been on my SoundCloud account for a number of years, but that's pretty obscure. So I thought, since the first game came out in 2006, and um, it's been a good 12 years since then, the time has come to put all the audio up on YouTube, or as much of it as I have the rights to um, and own. Most of the tracks were written and recorded by myself on firstly on an old Casio keyboard and using a tinny mic from the 1970s that my dad gave me as a hand-me-down. Uh, as the games got better, the musical keyboard got better and the microphone got better and my singing, well, I don't know, it got a little bit better. <laughs> um, many of the tracks were done with several different mixes. Uh, I'd do an instrumental version, uh, a version with me singing, another version that had a little bit less of my um, singing, maybe not the uh, verses and only the choruses. Not every song had a verse and the chorus. Uh, Sword and Sandals Crusader was the only one that felt like a full song, but Sword and Sandals 3 had its own um, interesting bit at the end. Um, the bit at the end of Sword and Sandals 3, which kind of sounds like a disco with some cheesy uh, 80s rap in it, was actually going to be a lead in to Swords and Sandals in space or something like that, which um, at the end of the game you might have remembered there's a spaceship that goes past. Uh, that music was supposed to play then, but um, I actually ended up not using it because it kind of sounded terrible. Um, as I said, I don't have, uh, I'm not sure if I have all the rights to these tracks. In fact, um, I composed pretty much all of it, but I did get um, other musicians um, to put it together for me, including the great Adrian Galassi, who actually, um, now that I think of it, did compose a bunch of the tracks himself. Um, I'm going to talk to him and see if he's okay with me uh, releasing some of the tracks from Sword and Sandals Medieval. Uh, a couple of the tracks in the town and that kind of thing were actually free tracks that I got from um, free sites like Kevin McLeod and so on. But the majority of the tracks I'll be putting up over the next couple of weeks you will be quite familiar with and hopefully you enjoy. So check out the um, channel every few days and I should have a new track for you and if there's anything that... Um, isn't up there that you've heard of mine and would like to go up there, let us know in the comments and I'll see if I can put it up there. I'm also going to be including um, the guide track, which was the uh, demo track I did for uh, Sword and Sandals Pirates. And not everyone has heard this, so um, that'll be a good one to listen to. All right, everyone, um, have a brilliant day. I'm working very hard on Sword and Sandals Pirates, hoping to get the beta out by the end of the month, which means we're only about five weeks away from launch on Steam. Pretty scary, but I'll be announcing a lot more about that in uh, the coming days. Uh, cheers all, have a wonderful day and bye for now.